A buddy, a young author, is highlighting her experience with a classmate in a new book. Our Rikisha Bailey takes us inside the pages of this unexpected friendship and this week's Focusing on the Future. BJ stood shamefully with his head down and asked Catherine and Mary, why would you get help from me? I have been nothing but mean to you and so many kids at school. The girls replied to BJ because it was the right thing to do. 12-year-old Alima wrote the book, Let's Help the Bully, inspired by her own story. Were you bullied? Yes. I was new to the school and I was a really uh, good reader. So I guess the bully felt intimidated. At the age of 10, she became the target of painful teases. What would she say? Uh, you think you know everything and everything. It was just like, she kept trying to say things like throw me out of my focus for school. Similar to BJ, who would manage to sneak around school officials to take student lunches and spill milk on their clothes. Alima says she was mistreated for months. I didn't tell nobody at first, but then I ended up telling my mom. It was very frustrating. Uh, I contacted the school right away. Me and my husband, my, my daughter, we saw no signs of anything that was going on. Peer mediation was used to resolve the conflict between Alima and the other student. In an effort to help others, this mother-daughter duo teamed up. And she like, Mom, really a book? And I'm like, seriously, I think we should do a book. We can do it together. From summer camps to book signing events, Alima Lima is now sharing her story. She and her mom have sold hundreds of books and given dozens of talks. Her story ended in friendship. I feel like it was the right thing to do, Eve, because I feel like she, I feel like she was going to change after the mediation. They were able to get to the root of the problem. And as time went on, Alima began to actually help her read. As for BJ and the girls, all three of the children begin running, playing, and enjoying the beautiful sunny Saturday afternoon. The end. Wakisha Bailey, CBS News, Philadelphia. Oh my gosh, what a beautiful and inspiring story there. Thank you for that, Wakisha. And that book.